going to do a little bit of a vlog on the coffee trailer that I'm currently building out. So if you're new to my channel, I'm Green Joe Coffee School, rebranded from Green Joe Coffee Truck. I started off uh, as a small coffee truck and built a whole bunch of different ones, owned a catering business, brick and mortar, blah, blah, blah. Um, so this coffee trailer is going to be used for a coffee school. Um, I'd like to teach people how to do mobile coffee. So we'll set it up with a cart and single group and two group espresso machine and dabble some home roasting and just, you know, show workflow and how to set up a, a coffee trailer. Well, anyhow, so I purchased this one uh, about three hours from me in a town called Alamogordo. It is a 24 foot enclosed trailer. I'll do a video on the trailer shortly, but it is absolutely huge. 24 feet is you know, to put in perspective, most of the time I recommend around a 7 by 12 or a 6 by 12 um, for size, and it's double that, and it's just it's huge. So, but I wanted to put a bathroom in it since we're going to have three, four people at a time in this thing. It'd be nice for them to be able to take potty breaks. So, um, that all being said, I brought the trailer home uh, last week, um, ran into a bunch of issues with just finding out where to park the dang thing. Uh, originally, the uh, my, my brother-in-law is helping me with the work, and so we were going to use his yard, but we couldn't make the turn. And so then we looked at his neighbor yard, and that couldn't make the turn. And so there was there was just a bunch of, you know, we tried a couple different ones. We ended up settling. There's a friend of mine that, that um, has a big, huge open space in their backyard, and they live out of town. So um, it's about a 20, 30 minute drive, just depending on the traffic to get down there. That's what I'm, I'm heading now this morning. And uh, so we ended up putting it there. But man, it was a tight turn. It was so tight, in fact, that when I was making the turn, my awning to the trailer itself actually touched the brick wall uh, in the alley that that uh, that I was turning. So I was really sweating it that I was going to rip my awning off. I didn't rip my awning off. Thank goodness. But because I wasn't paying attention, there was a tree. I was Well, because I was paying attention so intensely on the awning, I didn't notice the tree branch. So, bam, I put this big old eight-inch hole right in the top of my roof. So we're going to have to uh, fix that with some, um, some fiberglass repair kit. And, man, I couldn't tell you. I, I could not make up such a great beginning to the story of building a coffee truck other than putting a hole in it on day one so that's like oh man <laughs> I'm like, yeah that's right that's what building a coffee truck is so um so we did our first day yesterday of work our first official day of work and the vast majority of that day was just spent working on insulation now the beauty behind this trailer is that it came with the roof already insulated they're just using one inch foam which is perfectly fine with me. Um, so we had the roof already insulated. Now we're just working on the walls. And it each uh, the first eight foot patch of wall took me took us about 90 minutes um, to install the insulation. We're just using one inch foam insulation. We're cutting it to the size and then just putting it in there and sealing the cracks with this uh, can of like liquid foam called Great Stuff. And so the first uh, eight foot section took us 90 minutes because we we're really just kind of still figuring out what the hell we're doing. And then after that, each section took us about 60 minutes. Um, so about an hour, give or take. And so we have a total of seven, eight inch, or excuse me, eight foot sections of insulation that we have to fill. And so we got most of it done yesterday. We got to go and uh, do some more today. And then I stopped at my local restore. It's a Habitat for Humanity store. It's basically a thrift store for construction or home goods. And they had some cabinetry there. So I was able to pick up some cabinetry and I'll, I have another video on that, I'll share that. But I was able to pick up the cabinetry. Uh, I got all three of my pieces for 300 bucks and then they gave me uh, a 10% discount. So it cost me um, yeah, 280 bucks and they even threw in uh, um, free brackets. So uh, so I scored on those. I got those in the back of the truck now. It's raining, so I have them covered in the tarp. Um, but that was uh, basically what yesterday was, was doing insulation. So today is going to be insulation. And if this rain lets up and we get a little bit of, uh, of clear section, we'll work on that fiberglass hole. Right now, I just have it covered up with uh, 
with a, a canvas, a tarp, you know, to, to prevent rain from getting in there. But if we get a chance today, we'll work on uh, patching up that hole. And then after that, uh, we're, we're going to move to paint. I talked to my local health inspector and uh, the, the lead inspector, and he cleared me for using paint on those walls. So we're just going to go through and sand the walls and make sure that there's no, you know, that they're nice and smooth. And then we're just going to use a uh, semi-gloss exterior light gray paint to, uh, to paint the plywood. There's like a, a half inch plywood all across the inside of the enclosed trailer. So we're just going to use that. And then as soon as that's painted and dried up, we'll put the cabinets in and then start on the plumbing. So we're moving along pretty quick on this one. Um, I have it scheduled for a six week build. We'll see, you know, but anyhow, if you're kind of following this progress, um, all, all this stuff is detailed in my master class. I got a group of, uh, we're up to 21 people. We've got nine slots left. And basically what we're doing is we're going through this and kind of guiding them through the process. Everyone's at a little bit of a different <clears throat> place in their journey. Some people are still, um, you know, in the starting the business section. Some people are um, in the build out section. Some people are having other people build out for them. There's just some people are doing carts. We're kind of a little bit of everywhere, but um, we meet uh, three times a week in this in this course. And we all just kind of talk about the progress and I document it and they have access to these type of videos. So if you're looking at building out a coffee truck or a coffee trailer, then um, definitely you'll want to take a second to take a look at that. Anyhow. That's about enough for today, and I will shoot some more vlogs later on and kind of keep you updated. All right.